Hi there. Just finished my walk in gorgeous Chapels Cove, Newfoundland. And as I was walking along in this, uh, what is it, minus nine with a wind chill of who knows how much. Anyhow, I thought about all the things that I do because I am an avid hiker here in Newfoundland and a walker, uh, especially on the Avalon because that's where I live. Um, I was just thinking of all the things that I do that make it easier to hike here because no matter what, the wind is your biggest challenge. That's for sure. Our wind is brutal and relentless and very cold at times and it blows in all directions. So I was just thinking of some uh, Newfoundland winter hiking tips that I could pass along to you whether you're visiting Newfoundland or you live here and you're just not getting out in it because you look out the window and you're like this weather sucks so I'm just gonna stay inside and you know be warm and cozy which I totally get and I do that sometimes myself but for the majority of the time I actually get out and get out in all weather because that's the key to living in Newfoundland or visiting is we're just gonna take it in the face and get out there and the hardest part is getting out the door so yeah once you're out the door you will be so glad that you got out there every time I go out I'm just like oh thank god I got outside and the fresh ocean air and the you know just the wind smacking you in the face just wakes you up every day and it feels so good so uh, I just put together a few notes of my Newfoundland hiking tips uh, here we go okay um, oh yeah when it's nice get outside that's the easiest time to get out so if you see that sunshine and you're just sitting around at home put on your gear and get out there and that's the thing about your gear just have it handy get your gear all set up you're gonna need layers okay so layers wear lots of layers I've got like a workout shirt I've got polar fleece I've got a polar vest an outer wind protection wind and rain would be ideal I also have a raincoat that I switch it out for but if it's not raining I don't wear the raincoat because this one breathes better pit zips always good because going one way you'll be freezing cold and then you turn around the other way and you'll be boiling hot so prepare for all temperatures while you're walking um, oh yeah mindset is the best thing you can tackle for hiking and walking because just get out in it and go I'm just gonna do it like no matter what and enjoy it so if you're just walking along the whole time going oh my god this sucks this sucks this sucks it's gonna suck but if you just get out in it and like oh yeah I'm getting fresh air and like getting that smack in the face that you might need just to get your day going get get your head straight and just do it it's so much fun on those misty like foggy semi rainy days which we have a lot of them I go out in it anyways and as the water is just like hitting my face I just think ah oh, it's a spa day <laughs> for free uh, so mindset is key um, let's see so thick fleece I'm just gonna read down through my list uh, fleece mitts with flip down you know tops which these aren't uh, are great because they keep your fingers warm in the mitts and as well you can flip them off and you have your fingers to do a really awesome selfie which you will want to do because Newfoundland is frigging beautiful every corner you turn is a selfie moment <laughs> so selfie priority um yeah wear layers uh bring a get a good backpack and it doesn't have to be big so that you can put extra gear in it because you never know when you're going to turn a corner and you will be hit with a whole different set of weather so you can't trust exactly what you see as you walk out the door um oh yeah the wind blows all ways so you'll be walking one way you'll be getting the wind in the face you may turn around and you'll also get wind in the face so just know that wind never stops here 
Uh, you may want to also actually get earplugs if you have sensitive ears and uh, that will help you immensely with the constant wind. And these uh, neck scarves headbands are awesome because they do protect your ears. And I love them. I wear them in the summer, spring, fall, winter, every time of the year. Um, also wear sunglasses because, uh, because of the wind, it can pick up a lot of sand and rocks and ice pellets and they will smack you in the eyes and you will not have a good time. So wear your sunglasses. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, wear good lip stuff. Yep, and moisturize your face before you go out because the wind after time will make you look like a fisherman of the sea, if you know what I'm talking about, Billy. So just take care of your skin, wear sunscreen. If you're into sunscreen, that will also, you know, prolong your youth. Um, oh yeah, I'll, I have a, a wicked pair of Gore-Tex sneakers or runners, which have been amazing because on the East Coast, we don't always have a ton of snow. So you don't always have to be wearing your hiking boots. So Gore-Tex sneakers protect you from like the wet and the that type of stuff. And they're super comfortable and awesome. Um, oh yeah, spend the money on footwear and your gear. It is worth it. And then once you have it, then you're done. I have like the same gear I've had for years. And I keep it all in the same spot in my bedroom. So when I get up in the morning, I just walk over. I just put my hands into my shirt. I just put my hands into my, my fleece. And everything is just all in the same place. So it makes it easy to just get my gear together and go. Um, another thing that's good to have are gaiters. So uh, they're the things that kind of go below your knee and tie over your sneakers or your boots. They are amazing and they have been uh, like a godsend on many hikes, you know, whether it's slushy stuff or um, just, you know, deep snow. It's always good. And it protects from rain getting into your boots and your shoes too. Uh, yeah, um, I also wanted to say, oh yeah, buy crampons if you're nervous about being out on ice and slippery conditions, because it's slippery here a lot, because it'll rain and melt and snow and freeze and rain and freeze and melt. So there's always a chance of it being slick. So those crampons are those little toothy things that you put on the bottom of your footwear, and they're amazing, so get them too and keep them in your bag for when you need them. Uh, the other thing about being nervous about being out on the ice is that's another mindset thing. I hear a lot of people say, oh God, I haven't been out this winter. I'm afraid, you know, I'm gonna slip and break my neck or something. <sighs> that's a tough one because if you have that mindset, you probably are gonna slip and trip and it's gonna suck. So you need to just go, okay, I'm a ninja, and get out there and just walk, be strong, be confident, look up. Don't always think about your feet, don't think about slipping, because that could make it happen. And just keep in mind that no matter what, shit happens, so you may slip and something may happen, but at least you're outside doing things you love and you know, you will recover and you will get back out there again. So just, just do it. Do it. Be a winter ninja. Okay, what else is there? Oh yeah, find roads and trails that work for you. So there's so many places you can go. It doesn't have to be like, you don't have to hike Gross Morn or anything. Uh, there are many roads you can walk in the winter. Like, okay, I'm here in Chapels Cove. This is the best road walking ever. There's a few hills, there's lots of flats, there's ocean, there's ponds, there's gorgeous little ecosystems up there. There's ducks, there's everything. Okay, so there's Chapels Cove, there's Cupids, there's Colliers, there's uh, Spaniards Bay, there is um, Bay Roberts, uh, I mean you can just keep going up. There's Carboneer, excuse me, tons on the east coast that are gorgeous. 
and not dangerous and you don't have to worry about being out in the middle of nowhere it's just it's right here you just drive out park and walk the roads and they're always clear and there's hardly any traffic so find the roads that you love and just keep going to them and you'll be outside all winter and there are a poop ton of trails that are here that are epic um, just look up the East Coast trail system and you will never be bored like if you just do one segment of it it will blow your mind every single trail is gorgeous so google that and look them up and just start ticking them off your list because they are so worth doing uh, oh yeah and find when you get up in the morning or whenever you're getting ready to go for your walk just take a look at which way the wind is blowing and pick a trail or a road that is in the lee of the wind and also a trail that will maximize the amount of sunshine that you get if there is sunshine <sighs> so i think that's it i just would really love for everybody to be enjoying newfoundland winters rather than staying inside and you know just getting all cabin feverish because there's so much out here to do and if you just get your gear set up and just find the places that you love you will get out more and you will feel good and you know the rest of your day will be great so yeah get out enjoy Newfoundland it is totally wicked okay anyhow happy hiking bye